Hello Meat Puppets, as promised, I wanted to show you all the different title screens, so here's the next one. It's uh, depressing music in the background, probably sung by the turrets, judging by the pitch, and you got some dead turrets right here, and you got the fire, and it's pretty much where we just were. So, let's continue our game here. Continue up the fun. I love the fun, and the funk. 1982, day the fun, oh god. Video. I'm not even going to quote that video anymore. It's such a weird video. So here we are again, back in our our test chamber. I don't remember what the, this does. Oh, that does that. Okay, so what do we gotta do. Huh? I don't even remember what we gotta do here. All oh, right, just gotta do that. Okay, fair enough. Bring that over to there. Where am I? Oh, I guess we gotta go back up there. Okay. We gotta go put this on the butt. Cube. These cubes are older too. Did you know? I don't think I mentioned that, but they they don't look the same, which is fine. It's not a big deal. But uh, yes. So just jump across like so. I'm done with that guy. I think. What does that do? Oh, yeah, you can actually wall jump here, believe it or not. It's the only time in the game you do this, but eh. it's interesting. See? Wall jump. It really... I wish they had done this more than that, now that I think about it. I wish they had put more wall jumping places. Oh, don't... No. Don't incinerate yourself. Okay. Uh, right. Yeah, I, I really wish they had done it in more places, but... Whatever. It's fine. So I guess we can just try and aim for this guy right there. Probably... Oh, I did make it. Wow. Surprising. Make it! There we go. That's close. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. <laughs> oh, thanks. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this. It's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Probably would have been good to know before the test, but, you know, better late than never, right? I mean, I, I'm glad I know that now that I, my bones are all mushy, like mashed potatoes. I could go for some mashed potatoes right now. Sounds delicious. All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Oh, wow. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping, because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. <laughs> Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. Wow. <laughs> oh, Cave Johnson, you freak. Yeah. So. I don't remember what's up here, but let's go up here anyway. See some stairs, and... That's really about it. Oh, we can go in here, though. That works out pretty nicely. There's always some place you can go. I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. How do you know that? The encounter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Right. You can actually... Oh, yeah. When it starts dropping, like, so, you can put it through through uh, areas like so. Kind of drops right there, you see? Put it right there. Save yourself the trouble of laying down another portal. Uh, what else? I guess you can just like, put it over here. I don't know why you would put it over here. But it's fun. It's always fun. Is that, um, right, so then you want to go over there. Come to do that. Oh, right. Right, this one's do that. Make it go through and then put the portal somewhere else. And then, of course, you gotta get a little bit right there. So, let's actually put it over here. It's a little bit better, I think. Alright, jump for it! Go, go, go! Wow, I actually got that, surprisingly. Okay, so now you want to put a portal right there, and then put one on there again. And then it flies through, lands over there. That's what you want. So, jump back down. And, uh... 
Wait, no, I, no, what am I doing? Hold on. I screwed that one up. Okay, so put that back. Then you want to fall down from up here. Try not to land on the gel. And you'll fly, you'll land on this, and the music picks up because it's awesome. Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. Wow. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Brilliant. I'm glad I, I wasn't around here when it actually happened. I think this is like 1950s, 1940s aperture, because later you'll see it will be in 1970s. That's that's when the, the propulsion gel comes into play. But yeah, we're in the... 50s, now, I if think. you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about hey, the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Wow. Pretty fast. Yeah, that's a little bit of an exaggeration there. Alright. So get a portal right there, get one right there. Get that through. Did it? Oh, I thought it bounced up to the ceiling for a second. Okay. I, uh, I'm not really sure what we're supposed to be doing here. Not that. Not that so much. Um. Just, I don't even, oh, okay. Let's try that. Yeah, since it's so high, it'll just go right there. forgot about that. No, no! Was that water? No, that was just another... The screen gets all blue I'm when you... Them, keep oh, your stop talking! Alright, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. <laughs> What if it's a girl, Cave Johnson? What about that, huh? Come on. You gotta keep all your test subjects in the know-how. What am I saying? I don't even know. But you want to hit that guy, and then you bounce through. Simple. It's very simple. And you go upstairs, and that's actually the first, or maybe not the first, but it's an earlier test chamber down there. If you feel like doing that again for some reason. Alright, and you can actually, you're supposed to, go and get some of that. Oh, no, that's not the first, that's the, that's the previous chamber we did, but, now that you got the gel going through a portal, is there some, no, there's not some down there. You're going to want to put some, as many places as you can, really, just because it's always a good philosophy as far as the gel goes. I don't know why, but it makes me feel safe that, you know, no matter where you actually do have to go, you'll be fine. You will be fine. So, uh, what, what was the point of this guy right here? I don't even remember. Hmm. Well, let's see what we got. We can go where? I guess we could just drop down through there, yeah? Yeah, and then bounce up there, I suppose. Alright, let's go for it. Total. There you go. Simple. Simple. Ah, uh, what? What's, 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 what's the point of doing... Oh, we can just jump across, right? I was wondering why that was up there. If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalks between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink <laughs> bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm a beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grip. Hustle could use a work, though. Now let's solve this thing. Okay, damn it. There's... No, no, no. There's an achievement. Oh, Ah, oh, I screwed it up. It's an achievement for catching this box before it hits the ground, and unfortunately I was about to, but it it kind of went through the water and it lost its blueness. 
kind of sucks. So the achievement will have to wait. I didn't get in my first run through, so. Oh hey, I wasn't even thinking about that. That works. <laughs> that was an accident, but hey, you know. Wait a second. Now oh, you're supposed to cover that with gel, I think. The thing is, I don't remember how. Can you just kind of? What if you put it? Oh, on the ceiling, Herb. That usually works pretty well. There you go. Talk science isn't about why. It's about why not. Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science and love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out because you are fired? Wow. Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you. Box your stuff. Out the front door. Parking lot. Car. Goodbye. <laughs> he just fired a scientist. That's hilarious. On a pre-recorded message. That's that's just weird. Come on, CJ. What are you thinking? Yeah, I'm sad I didn't get that achievement, though. I was hoping I would get it this time. Oh well. Another day, perhaps. Congratulations! The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. Wow. She is a gem. What a genius. Apparently, she is also a moron. Huh. Goodbye, Carolyn. Um, jeez, I don't think I was even supposed to go through there. I don't remember. It's been a while. Maybe I just go somewhere here. Oh, so there's like a huge globe there. Oh, yeah, I just go over here. <laughs> Let's go up there. Let's go fancy. So, uh, yeah, we just drop down. Go through this door. Ta-da, so we're done with the 1950s, 40s, probably 50s aperture. We're going to go ahead and go into the 70s soon, and there we can get two achievements that I am positive I can get. So, where am I going? I'm probably, like, up there would be good. That would be good. Where am I going now? I have to fly across somewhere, right? Bro, there's like a wall over there, isn't there? Alright, let's try something here. Yeah, there is. Right there. Then you just do that. Right. Okay, so I'll just hit both of the gel pressure control stations. And now there's gel flowing through both of those guys. And we can continue on through the weird ass tests, which for some reason haven't really hurt us yet. Although I'm not complaining. But, uh, okay. So the, the achievements are up there. We're gonna go get them. I actually like this room a lot, too. It just looks really cool. That's where we came out from last time. Oh, 1971. That's... Is that where we're... Yeah, I think that's where we are right now. We're in 1971 aperture. So. I guess we can hop up there and... Greetings, friend. Oh. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? <laughs> Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related? Ooh, let's touch everything. So you want to go back here. I, I didn't find this on my first time through because it's really hard to see. It's hidden behind that fridge. Here's the other if three bits or five doors. Peanuts, you might want to tell somebody now because this next test may turn your blood into peanut water for a few minutes. On the bright side, if we can make this happen, they're going to have to invent a new type of Nobel Prize to give us. So hang in there. Wow. 
Number five. The average human male is about 60% water. As far as we're concerned, that's...